Hey, Laura here. So I have a couple of hauls to share with you guys today. And I went to Tuesday morning and to Hobby Lobby. I also went to Dollar Tree, but um, I didn't buy anything really crafty. I just got stuff for the house, so I'm not going to share that. So just the really small haul I got from Tuesday morning. I just picked up some of the glitter glue, and this is the color squash. And it was on clearance, but I just know that I don't have this color and thought it was really pretty, so I decided to go in and get it. Then I picked up the Studio Calico Wood Veneer, and this is the one with all the little words and the typewriters. There's the SKU number if you're looking for it. And I picked up the Simple Stories Emoji Love. These are the brads, and I don't really necessarily know that I'm going to use, like, the actual emoji guys. But all of these little brads, and these ones were pretty, and these have words on them. So, I went on ahead and got it, and that is the skew for that. They didn't have a lot of the other stuff. Some of, some of the Reset Girl stuff, and... Um, the stamps and stuff, but I just, that's what I ended up with. And then I, the rest of the things I got were on clearance. Um, but I think you're all going to show the Casey and Company, or Kate and Company, sorry. And um, these are just some beach stickers. And I'm going to be scrapbooking a lot of the pictures from when me and my family, um, we went on a cruise in November. So I have a ton of pictures that are going to be getting scrapbooked before too long so just kind of getting some stuff together for that and that includes these and I just thought these were so cute I wish there would have been more packages because I honestly probably would have bought more because I would maybe possibly put this on like several of the scrapbook layouts just because they're pretty and then the other two I just got from Life's Little Occasions. And it's just a couple of these packs of stickers about school and graduation and stuff like that. So that is all that I picked up at Tuesday morning. Not a very fun haul, but it'll be okay. And then at Hobby Lobby, they had a lot of stuff just up and down the aisles with the yellow clearance stickers on them. And so, um, yeah, so I got this, I already pulled the sticker off and this is called Floral Globe and it is from Stamp Abilities and it was a dollar 75. And I just thought it was very beautiful. So I can't wait to try that out and see like maybe with the mermaid markers or something or I don't know, but it's really pretty. Then I got these Jolie's Boutique and they were marked down to a dollar and they're these little Easter eggs and they're so cute and I don't really know what I'm going to do with them because I don't even believe I have any pictures from Easter or anything like that necessarily but I just thought they were so cute and this little bunny rabbit here at the bottom it got me that's why I had to get it but they're really cute so I also got the die cuts and these are the little chipboard anchor. These were 75 cents. Figure I'll paint those up, put them on a couple of scrapbook pages or maybe even um, like if I do a separate album for the cruise pictures, I might put that on the cover or something. Then from spare parts and this was a dollar, it's just more of these little brads. Thought they were really cute. It's like I had to have a lot of self-control because there was a lot of stuff marked at a dollar and 75 cents and it was really hard to not buy a whole bunch of stuff. They also had their paper pads, a lot of their paper pads marked down and this one is the Faith Collection by Bow Bunny and it was a dollar fifty and uh, just kind of flip through really quickly. 
So $1.50, I mean, that's cheaper than Tuesday morning because at Tuesday morning they're like $2.99. So I went there to get perler beads. And so this is what I use my 40% off coupon on. And um, I've been melting down the perler beads. I started melting them down a long time ago. I bought a set a long time ago and only melted a little bit of them and didn't finish. So I started the other day. These are the ones that I had done first and I would used like a really cheap wax paper. So the paper stuck to all the bottom of them and they burnt, but I mean the bottoms of them burnt, but it'll still look okay on a page. But I've just been melting down and I have got the ones with the stripes the last time. So this time I just wanted some plain colors. And these are the colors that come in here. So I'm going to get all these melted down and turn them into my own little enamel dots. Except the brown. I don't know. I'm, I don't like brown, but we'll see. Okay, and then I got this EK Success Punch. And it's the at symbol, and it was $2.30. But I pulled it out a while ago and tried to use it, and it is broke. I mean, I don't know if you can tell. Probably not. It's probably not going to pick it up on camera. But it's, like, fully together in there, and it's, like, broke. I tried to, I mean, I managed to get one punched out, but it ripped all the paper and I had to use my metal ruler to like get it out so and I don't shop at Hobby Lobby enough to know if they take back clearance items or what but oh well I don't know so I also picked up this create 365 and this is the back to school happy planner stuff and two dollars and forty cents but the reason why I got it, because I'm not a teacher, but um, the reason why I went on ahead and picked it up is because, well, it's got a couple little stickers and stuff, which I won't use the report cards and stuff like that, but it does have the folders in there, and I can always alter these, like, you know, put another sticker over here or something if I wanted to, but why I got it was because of these sheets of paper right here I thought that I mean it says classroom checklist but you know I thought I could maybe keep track of like my budget on here and so we'll see I thought that was kind of neat and for two dollars and forty cents plus it has these like notes back here so not too bad so picked that up then I got a eight and a half by 11 post bound scrapbook album and it was only three dollars and 75 cents and I haven't um, is that supposed to be roof like that maybe I don't know probably yeah anyway um I haven't scrapbooked eight and a half by 11 yet but I plan to, so this will, I will already have an album to stick everything in whenever I start scrapping. I'll have to get some refill pages because it only includes 10. And then I got the Pink Paisley Moonstruck, and this was $3.75. Like I said, I wanted to go crazy with paper, but I couldn't because I have so much paper and I haven't used it. But at $3.75, I mean, they had a lot of them at $3.75, and then they had a lot of them at $5. And so that's still, um, it's still almost practically like better than Tuesday morning, and it's like the Michael's Hot Buys. So I had to just get these ones. I, it was really hard not to get a whole bunch of them. Because I have my 12 by 12 papers on a bookshelf and I stack them up you know this way so the front of the book is pointing out towards me and I have about this much room you know on the shelf and I don't want to 
have to go and put my paper anywhere else. So if, you know, I can only fit maybe one or two more 12 by 12s in there and then that's it. So I don't want to add any more because, um, yeah, I just have so much stuff that I'm not using and it's really bothering me here lately. I really want to start using it because, I mean, I feel guilty for having all this stuff and I'm not using it like I should be. And then I go and spend money like I did today, knowing that I didn't need it, but I got it anyway. So, but that is my haul. So thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.